welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for being so super patient with this full moon in Cancer reading for you because, you know, I had intended to do it on uh, a YouTube live, um, but it was a little oh, challenging trying to work out how to flip to do that. So I had to cancel that. Um, I tried to do three test streams on YouTube. It wasn't very good. So I do apologize for that. This is so delayed, this reading. Um, the full moon was on the 1st or the 2nd of January, depending on where you are in the world. And I was going to skip it, but I was like, oh, I actually want to know what I need to do. So this reading is for me and for you too. So I just want to say thank you so much. And also massive shout out to all of those beautiful souls that were helping me on the live stream on uh, YouTube um, who were telling me um, that the what about the video quality and oh, like everything, all the technical stuff, all of those beautiful people that just jumped on. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already hit that bell button, you need to do that. Why? Because you get a notification as soon as I upload videos and when I go live, which is so important because I would love to be doing more lives for you. So. Let's get cracking, shall we? All right, we're gonna start off with the Angel Oracle. No, what, oh my gosh, I'm so out of practice. The Angel Oracle from Darren Virtue. All right, angels, I'm gonna have one card for clarity for my beautiful MK, whoa! This card actually came out when I was shuffling. Every day I'm shuffling. New partner. This is amazing because the, en the energies that we're in at the moment is all to do with cancer, which is about families and relationships. Um, relationship with yourself, re relationship with people around you, whether it's business, um, it's romantic or it's platonic, whatever it may be. This is about a new partner coming into your life. This could be, if you're single, a new romantic partner. This could be a new change of relationship that you have with your higher self, the relationship you have with your employer, the one with your partner. This relationship is, if you have a really solid relationship, it is deepening. It's like a new connection that is forming. I have already felt this energy shift with my relationship with my fiance. Oh, it's amazing. So, okay, let me read this one. It says, a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to the new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of by your sense of familiarity, I can't even talk. <laughs> Today, Junior. Familiarity, comfort, and safety. Yes, my loves. All right, let's get clarity. Let's keep moving on. Angels, clarity for my beautiful MK Love fam. Oh, by the way, if you're new to my channel, this these are general readings. If you want a more personal readings, then you'll need to book your own private reading. The link is in the description. Okay, angels, can we have clarity on new partner for the full moon and cancer for my beautiful MK Love fam? Shower of abundance. Okay, so the abundance is coming to you. Abundance in the form of like whatever this new partner is for you. It could also be like, um, for me, I've been manifesting to find a new um, a, a aerial yoga studio. I'm actually going to, oh, I'll quickly tell you. <laughs> I, I'll, I won't put in, I will put in the success story update as well. Um, by the way, so that was your card, Shower of Abundance. Abundance in every form of your life. It's probably linked to this, so it's like a new abundance that is coming through you in the form of a relationship. Um, so I've been manifesting for ages, trying to find an aerial yoga studio that was at a price I could easily afford, that was um, close to where I live, and I want it to be with high vibrational souls. Get this, yesterday I checked my email, and this company who I had joined their, their mailing list, like probably like three months ago, messaged me and said that they've got this new promo in January for 30 days. It only is $30 Australian dollars um, for unlimited classes. And I was like, oh my God. So I have until the end of January to purchase it. The reason why I'm holding off is because Peter and I sold our car and in order for me to get to the yoga studio, it will take me like an hour on the bus each way. Um, 
So yeah, I'm manifesting. Oh, maybe this for me is like my our new car, the shower of abundance. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to hear what comes up for you in the comments. I wish this was live so you could talk back to me. All right, we're moving on to Archangel Raphael. This is a healing deck. This deck is fabulous because it helps identify where the blockages are and how you can move forward. All right, clarity on new partner and shower of abundance. Remember, whatever comes up in your subconscious at any point during the reading, that is your divine message for today. Holy flip, I just saw two birds flying outside next to each other. And then there was one not too close, not too far away from it, but there was two that were definitely in. Oh, okay, you wanna come out? Sure. Ooh, increased energy. Okay, so it's like this new partner, this new relationship, however it looks like for you, is coming in at such a beautiful part that is literally changing and it's putting you in a different frequency. Maybe you had been manifesting what you want for ages and you're feeling the emotions associated with it. You've done your dream jar, you do your morning visualizations, you've done your forgiveness healing practice, you listen to my guided visualization from my shop. And as a result, the angels are saying, okay, this is what you have wanted for such a long time. It is here. Uh, hear that? I heard that song. Here I am, baby. Oh, sign seal delivered. I'm yours. Woo! Okay, so it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for filling me with the unlimited energy of divine love and light. So you guys are vibrating on the frequency of love because you have been doing your self-love practices for such a long time which is when this comes because there's no resistance in your vibration. Oh my gosh, what are you guys manifesting? All right, let's get more clarity. There's no blockages there. Can we have clarity, angels, please? One more card for clarity on new partner, shower of abundance and increased energy. Am I missing it? Can you fall out, please? Because I've, I've. There we go. Easy does it. Okay. So, this new partnership that is coming into your life, it doesn't have to be romantic. So, I know as soon as people see a new partner, they're like, oh, I'm getting married, oh, I'm finding my husband, or whatever. You know, it's not that. It could be this new relationship with yourself. And this connection that you're having is making you feel so good. You're doing your self-love practices, but the angels are saying, you know, you need to find your balance. Easy does it. What's really beautiful, can you see a baby? I always, when I see this, so oh, let's just focus. I see this as like, um, like a new beginning, a, a new energy, pure positive energy. I also see um, like it's, it's, it's being nurtured. Two males, so two masculine energies, but then it is, balanced either side actually almost well yeah with two flowers like purple flowers but then there's a little one coming here which is maybe why I saw the two birds flying side by side and then this one was like behind um, I feel like it's just pace yourself what was that song then I heard that song respect yourself hey hey Let's move on, shall we? All right, let's move on to the numerology deck from Michelle Buchanan. All right, hold on. I made a cup of tea before I started. I'm just gonna have a sip. It ain't no Q&A tea time yet. Mm -hmm. But I love Q&A tea time. Okay, new partner, shower of abundance, increased energy and easy does it. All right, my beautiful angel, what am I? <laughs> oh my gosh, I've lost it today. Angels, what do my MK Love fam need to know? What do they need to know? From full moon and cancer. That one. You need 
to surrender to the process. However, this looks, this new partnership may not be, you know, sometimes like when you manifest things, you, oh, I heard that song, be careful what you wish for, cause you might just get it. From the Pussycat Dolls, <laughs> that's so weird. Don't you? Um, yeah, because sometimes what I've noticed is sometimes I'm manifesting things, I get them, and then when I get them, I'm like, oh, damn it, I forgot to add this into it. Um, what's an example of that that's happened recently? Um, I don't see anything around that just comes to mind. But for an example, um, years ago when I was manifesting new partners into my life, um, I manifested a guy that... I never specified when I was manifesting him that I wanted him to be straight. Um, and I realized that that was something that I needed to specify. Um, and then I had to surrender to the process and say, you know, I am where I am and it's okay. Yeah, things didn't go the way that I planned, but the universe always gives me what I need, which is an opportunity for me to grow and learn. So whatever is coming up for you, you need to surrender. I feel like this new partner is like something that you've wanted and then something shifts a bit but you need to surrender to where you are i feel like some of us get too um like get too caught up in i don't know i don't know how to explain this one I feel like you need to say, I am where I am and it's okay. That is surrendering and however this new partnership looks for you, um, whether it's romantic, it's a career, it's a new friend, a new yoga teacher, a new connection with your angels, you need to surrender to the process because it's divinely orchestrated. It just may not look the way that you thought it would look. Does that make sense? I just bit my tongue. <laughs> what? Okay, let's get clarity on that one, last card. Okay, follow your dreams. Okay, so you are on the right path. I feel like, I feel like you're getting, I feel like there's a point in this, with this energy that like, you've manifested things, you're feeling really good, but I feel like this is like a warning card to you, this easy does it. I feel like you've become a little bit unbalanced. And in the process, they're saying, you know, don't beat yourself up. Surrender to the process. I am where I am and it's okay. And continue manifesting, refining. That's that's the part, that's the cycle of life. It's a circle of life. Um, yeah, I just feel like you just need to refine what you want. I feel like you're going to get to a point where you're going to reflect and you're going to be like, you know, that's not really what I want and I feel like it's going to give you an opportunity to fine tune or to clean up your vibration if there's um, some resistance. I feel like there is, I feel like you're going to, uh, let me just see what comes through. Yeah, you're paddling upstream. I just see arms paddling upstream. So you, maybe something is just so exciting to you and you get so swept up in doing it, but you've lost your balance maybe you're not doing your self-love practices I just feel like yeah easy does it like you can nurture this this can be what you want but you need to not like take it and just like run 50 miles an hour what came up for you for that one good lord all right angels can we have clarity on new partner shower of abundance increase energy easy does it surrender and follow your dreams wow that one just flipped the Ace of Air. Okay, so this is like your head. The Air suit is all about the intellect. Brand new ideas and inspirations. Seeing the truth of the situation, a challenging beginning. Yeah, I feel like that's because you've had this card. Easy does it in the Surrender card. But the angels are like, you know, don't, don't feel like it's all over. Continue following your dreams because you can get what you want. It's like at the beginning, because the ace, I've been doing so much reading for Christmas. Peter bought me this book. 
which is all about my angel tarot. So I've like had to like go through all of it. Such a good book. And I've been learning so much more about the tarot um, because before I never really had a, very much of a connection to this deck. But I was like, I wanna learn it. But then being an angel deck, it's different to the traditional one. So you're at the beginning of this new, I see new beginning and then I also see new partner. I feel like they're linked. Let me just see. Okay, let me just read that one for you, okay? It says new ideas can now take flight. Ooh. Expect great inspiration to come, possibly from an event or a situation that you that had previously troubled you. Now you see the opportunity to create something amazing that you're full of and you're full of excitement. Focus your thoughts on your long-term goals and create a plan of action. You now see the truth in the situation. Confusion is gone and clarity has taken its place. Your new understanding removes previous misconceptions. You're now ready to move forward. Additional meanings, a challenging beginning, turning a negative into a positive, a brilliant intellectual solution. Okay, so this is good. So what once was an issue really isn't now. All right. Angels, can we have, oh, well that one came out quite quickly. <laughs> Look at that, we got the balance. Six of earth, gifts of money, time or effort new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. Well, this is an interesting one. I wonder what this means for some of you guys. Financial. Maybe this, this new partner is a new relationship that you have with money. And the abundance is coming in the form of finances, but you know, the angels could be saying, you know, easy doesn't, don't just spend it all at once because it's come through. Surrender to the process, set yourself free. Make sure you have enough in savings. Keep following your dreams, you can totally manifest more. And you're gonna have, it may be a little bit challenging at the start, but just know that all is well. Six of earth. So you've gone through the stage of the money and you're all just over halfway. Give some money, time or effort. Because abundance doesn't have to be, like abundance can be any form. It just depends, it's hard because this is a general reading so it's just whatever comes up for you. Interesting. Okay, abundance is on the way. The universe loves a grateful heart and rewards gratitude with more abundance. You may be the recipient recipient of this bounty or you actually may be the giver. Gifts may be monetary or taken such, monetary or take some other form such as an opportunity, advice or so forth. New career opportunities present themselves involving those who can be relied upon to be fair and responsible. Whoa, I'm so overexposed today. I am filming at a different time of the day so that probably explains it. Promotions, bonuses, and financial rewards are all possible at this time. I feel like we need more. I don't feel like we're at the end though. But two, four, six, eight. I feel like I need more. Let's get more from the tarot. The angel tarot. I don't know if I told you this is the angel tarot from Don't Virtue. What comes up, angels? What's the last piece of the puzzle for my beautiful MK Love fam? For the full moon in Cancer. What's the last piece of the puzzle? That one. Holy crap. Queen of Water. Whoa. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. Well, that's full circle. This new relationship, that's how it ends, on the queen of water. Relationships develop to a new level. So I feel like however this new level looks, 
it is divinely orchestrated. It's exactly what you need right now. You may not understand it, or you may be like, holy flip, about time. I've been doing myself my practice as well. I feel like the most important cards is this, these two. Find your balance, do your self-love practices, surrender to the process, however this looks, because it's going to set you free. Queen, empathetic, patient, patient. I feel like that is, that, that is so imperative. Loving, tender-hearted. Okay, let's get more on that one. She's surrounded by whales, like loads of whales. And it's like, she's like in the middle, like spiraling up. And then it's like she's controlling. Ah, okay. I see that she's controlling like two areas, like the ocean, which is the water, which is the queen of the water. Like she's the top, um, well, almost. And then she's controlling the sky too because can you see like there's like it looks like she's created like a whirlwind here and here it's like she's in the middle and she's like controlling it's like she's balanced maybe that's why i see the easy does it and there was another scale of things that i saw here i see like this balance is so important she's got three on that side and three of the other so it's like balance it's like giving and receiving so Maybe this re relationship is developing to a new level because it is balanced. It's finally balanced. And you probably haven't had that for a while. Let me just read this one and then... What? Okay. So with the Queen of Water, this can be either a situation or a person. You just have to work out what comes up for you. If it's a situation, it means emotional issues or relationships with others evolve to a new level. Even if things aren't perfect, there's a sense of peace and calm within you and you intuitively know what to do next. Your feelings for and insights about can be trusted. Ah, it can be trusted because remember we said something about, we have this one. Uh, no, was it that one? Where was the one? I feel like it was this one here seeing the truth of the situation I feel like you have this insight um, make sure that as you nurture those around you you don't forget to care about yourself which is the balance again we're seeing a lot of balance for a person it means a person of deep and mature emotions able to sense what others need and lovingly provide it an intuitive or psychic person who trusts his or her perceptions and uses them to navigate the physical world successfully. Tender-hearted, blah, 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 I've already read that. Additional meanings, patron of the arts, love for family and home, a dear and reliable friend, great creative talent. I feel like that's the end. Okay, so I feel like this new relationship that is coming to fruition is this new shower of abundance that you're feeling and then you're going through and feeling the this increased energy, this, you feel like you're vibrating on the frequency of love, but then you may be a little bit too carried away. And that's why the angels are saying, okay, okay, find your balance. Easy does it. Surrender to the process and say, I am where I am and it's okay. I am restoring my balance to set myself free and attract beautiful, healthy, balanced relationships. Oh, that was a good one. Keep following your dreams, the angels are saying, because you will find um, brand new ideas and inspirations are coming. You're beginning this new chapter. The ace is the beginning of the suit of air, which is all about the intellectual side. Seeing the truth of the situation, a challenging beginning, but it develops and we then soon find our balance. See, there's three coins on this one, three coins of that one. It's about relationships and but then it doesn't necessarily have to be money. I feel like the relationships are soon going to become balanced. I feel like they become a little bit unbalanced, but then you're like, I am where I am and it's okay. Um, and then when you find your balance, it then, uh, once you then find your balance, it then, um, oh, I lost my train of thought. I just had it then. 
Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Once the balance is then restored, you then develop this new relationship. This relationship just transforms. It's like you've moved through all of, do we have any water signs? No, we didn't, we've only had the air and earth. So then it then moves into like the emotions. Your, your emotional health becomes restored because you have got whatever this partnership is, you've, it's become balanced. And which makes you feel, well, it's like if you do, oh, long story short, if you do any self-love practices and you're vibrating on the frequency of love, you're releasing the blocks and you're cleaning up your vibration. Either you're booking a private reading if you need extra clarity, you're like, Mel, I don't know what the flip to do. Um, or you are like listening to my forgiveness heals, guided visualization, downloading my free self-love starter kit, anything you can get your hands on to clean up your vibration so you can release those blockages will help you find the balance of your emotional health. Health, Because once you are in balance, you won't be putting up with any crap from other people around you that don't have the balance. It's like, it's the relationship starts with you. Once you become balanced emotionally, which comes through your self-love practices, I feel like that infiltrates into every other area of your life. What a good reading. Was not expecting that. And where you can become balanced, you get out, out in Mother Nature. You need to take your shoes off, go for a walk outside. I know a lot of you are in the Northern Hemisphere and you're like flipping freezing at the moment where I'm in the Southern Hemisphere and I'm like wearing a t-shirt. I've got the air conditioning on like 22 degrees. <laughs> um, Find your balance. It will help restore your mental clarity, which will help you become a better person in every area of your life. And just keep following your dreams, my loves. Surrender to the process and it will set yourself free. What a good reading. Oh my gosh. Um, before you go, I was thinking of doing something a little different. Um, I don't know if you would be into it. I know that these readings do very well on my channel and to be honest they are the most fun like I love reading for you so much I never thought this would be where my channel would go and I've kind of like tight turn I can't even talk today oh my god I've tried to kind of steer it into more like the self-love but I feel like my readings infiltrate the self-love practices into it and I was just thinking um this morning because I had planned for like the whole year I did like for my channel and for my business um, on the 1st of January and I planned in depth for the first quarter and I was like you know what with my channel I had like a structure like I'm not even gonna tell you but just in case it changes but um, I had a structure and then it occurred to me I was like you know what I oh, maybe this is a new partnership with you guys in which which things change a bit. I was thinking of doing re only readings on this channel. How do you feel about that? Because I was thinking of doing readings for every one of the um, eight phases of the moon that we go through each month, which is the same amount of reading or same amount of videos I upload. I do two a week, so that's two times four is eight. So there's eight cycles of the moon. And so I was thinking of doing eight readings for the different phases of the moon. I've been doing a lot of research on the moon and I'm noticing that when I'm harnessing the energies that we're currently in for this moon cycle, things have just been so much easier. Um, so that's what I'm kind of thinking of doing. Like, what do you guys think about that? I'm just going to put a poll, either that side or that side. I don't know when this is flipped around. Um, should we just trial that for one month? Maybe just one month, I do eight readings within the month. Um, I'm not sure about like Q&A tea time. I feel like that's something we can do just on Instagram live. Um, I don't know how to work YouTube live. It's a lot trickier than I thought. Like Instagram would just press one button and I'm live. With On YouTube, I have to set up a bit rate, have an encoder um, with OBS. And I was looking into Google live. Uh, Google Hangouts on air. It just seemed like a real big mess around. So I don't know. I want to have it on YouTube too because YouTube is my baby. That's where I started almost four years ago. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we trial it for one month and do that? I don't know. 
I need your help because I'm not sure. I've already got a plan in place, ready to go for this year. But what do you want to see from me? I need your help. So can you message me? And can you also let me know what the flip came up for you during this reading? Ha! General readings are crazy. Um, if you would like a private reading, I now offer the Trinity of Clarity, which is just three card reading that I offer for $15.55. Um, then if you want a 30 minute um, in-depth reading, which is a video reading I um, send to you, that is $100 and then it goes up to $199 if you want a priority reading. Um, but yeah, the Trinity of Clarity 1555 reading, that one is just emailed to you. So if you just want quick clarity, like Mel, I don't know what to do. Like I'm stuck in this situation. Click the link in my description and it will take you um, to book a reading if that's what you want. <sighs> I wish this was live so I could chat to you. Anyways, thanks so much for being patient. I will be... Um, I'll have another video uploaded for Sunday at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. That one is kind of like my, what I have learned about my seven day kind of social media cleanse where, oh my God, it was so good. Um, and then next Wednesday, which is what date is that? Let me just check my calendar. So that will be the 10th of January. Um, that's when I'll release the new moon reading because I always upload those readings one week in advance so you have enough time to prepare. Um, yeah, it's all happening around here. Anyways, my love, let me know what you think and please vote because that will help me out. All right, I love you, I love you, love you and I'll see you Sunday. Bye. Oh, and follow me on Instagram. I'm doing so many lives these days. I love it. Maybe that's my new partnership. I don't, I've got so many new different partnerships in so many different areas of my life. All right. I love you. Bye.